Are you looking for a company that will give you stable, long-term job and value its people? Not only that, will help their people grow and develop their skills aside from getting a competitive salary? Well, today, pag-uusapan natin ang isang magandang opportunity and get to know more about Elevate Outsourcing. Road to 50,000 subscribers na tayo mga ka-hunter, kaya mamimigay tayo ng additional 2,000 pesos once we reach 50,000. Follow our Facebook page to know the details. kung saan mag-hunting tayo at magbibigay ako ng mga ideya where to find side hustle, homeways jobs, and ESL jobs. Now, we have a guest for today and we will be talking about the company and the hiring positions. Okay, so today we have our guest from Elevate Outsourcing. Hello, Sir Walter. Can you introduce yourself to us first? Yeah, sure. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Walter Ryan. Um, I'm the head of operations here at Elevate Outsourcing. Okay, thank you. And can you tell us, sir, what is Elevate Outsourcing and what are the services they provide? Elevate Outsourcing, what we do is we place remote-based talent with our clients uh, who are primarily based in the U.S. So, for example, if you are a entrepreneur, CEO, high-level executive in the U.S. and you find yourself strapped for time, you need some assistance, whether it be you need a VA, an EA, a graphic designer, a social media manager, Whatever type of talent you need, we'll place that for you. We'll source them, we'll recruit them, and then we'll hire them for you. What are those hiring positions that you have right now? Wow, so we are always continuously hiring. We're always looking for VAs and EAs. So the big difference with those two, so the VA is a virtual assistant and the EA is an executive assistant. So an executive assistant typically is that high level VA, the right hand, if you will, of that CEO or of that high level executive. So not only are they going to be managing calendars, managing inboxes, they're going to be managing team. They're going to be overseeing the affairs of that client. A VA, a VA can be pretty much anything that the client needs. If they need someone to conduct admin tasks, it'll be that. If they need someone to do some cold calling, it'll be that. If they need someone for simple data entry, it can be that. So we're always continuously hiring. We also have clients who are looking for employees on the creative side. So graphic designers, social media managers, content writers, web developers. We're always continuously hiring. So the list goes on and on. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of hiring. And what are the qualifications that you're looking for an applicant? That's a good question. So it's always going to be dependent on the position. But what we like to do um, is we are open to giving anyone an opportunity if they possess the skills and experience which translate over to the role. For example, earlier I mentioned um, a VA. A VA can do a handful of things depending on what the client's needs are. So let's say you've never been a VA before, but what the client's looking for is someone who has great comm skills, has dealt in customer service, can do outbound calls. That's actually a lot of the Philippine market because a lot of Filipinos have VPO experience. So if you possess those skills, you can definitely apply for that role. So it's really open to whatever the client's looking for. So we have a lot of VA positions open. All of them are different. And are those jobs or positions, are they work from home or do you have onset company? We do. So we offer both. So we do offer um, remote work. It's again, it's always going to be client dependent. But we do have some positions where we hire them for on-site. Our office is based in Angeles City, Pampanga. And the reason we have that um, is because having the office, we have backup generator upon backup generator. We have backup internet services in case, God forbid, anything were to happen to you when you're working remotely. But if there's anything that would knock out your power or knock out your internet, we have that stability here in the office. Okay, so that's why you have an on-site. If this person choose to, or the client also wants this VA, or like the the position is 
remote work, what are the requirements that they need to have? Well, if, if you're applying for remote work, obviously you need to have a working computer or laptop. Um, you need to have a backup internet. It's, it's a requirement because as we know, one of the difficulties of working remotely is having a stable internet, stable connection. So it's good to have one. It's better to have two. If you can have three, even better. So one of the requirements is what we're looking for is that. And a lot of it, again, especially is it's the attitude that you have. When you work remotely, you have to be disciplined to be able to log in on time. Make sure that you are attending your ship. Make sure that you're getting all of your work done. So that's one of the big requirements. And you have mentioned experiences. If this someone has no experience, but he or she is really eager to apply or like do the job, is there any possibility or chance for him or her to apply? That's a wonderful question. Yes, there is a chance for them to apply. Um, as long as you have skills or experience that translate to what the client's looking for, you have the opportunity to apply. If you're brand new to the VA industry and you've never worked remotely, but you still want to do it, for those of you who are, for anyone who's watching, if you're based in Pampanga and you're able to come to our office, we actually offer internship programs. It's a three month program. What we do, it has to be on site though. What we do is we teach you the basic skills, typically what clients are looking for. There's the calendar management, inbox management. We teach you basic admin tasks. We teach you um, how to create minutes of the meeting. We teach you lead gen. We teach you um, basic fundamentals of recruitment, how to paper screen, how to source, all of those things. Because those are typically what clients are looking for now in a VA. So if you're in Angela City or even in the Pampanga area, we do offer on-site internship. It's a three month program. Wow, that's awesome. And is it paid training? So the internship program, you do receive an allowance. So you do receive a monthly allowance, even though even at the same time while you're learning. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is really great. Like you will gain experience at the same time. You, also, you are also getting paid from that. All those positions are graveyard or do you have morning shift? Wonderful question. So the truth is majority of them are going to be graveyard because majority of our clients are based in the U.S. So we do follow their hours. Typically, majority of them are EST hours. So Eastern Standard Time, there are situations where clients are open to having flexible schedules or working opposite of them. So they would be working in the morning in the Philippines. But again, want to be transparent. Majority of them are graveyard shows. Okay. Yeah. And also there are a lot of viewers. I read their comments and they're asking what's really the process if you're going to apply to a company. That, that's a good question. So whenever you apply to any company and it goes the same with ours, please make sure you read the job description super, super carefully. Uh, make sure that you are confident in your skills to complete the task. So every job description, regardless of what company you're applying for, if there's an open job, they're going to show you the responsibilities and tasks that entail for that job. Please make sure you read it and reread it and make sure you only apply if you're capable of it. I think that's the biggest step. Um, from there, um, sending your application with us, it's super easy. Once you send in your application with us, our recruitment team who's amazing will screen it. And if you are qualified for the job, they're gonna reach out to you fairly quickly and get started on that process. How many interviews do they need to pass? Ooh, that's a good question. So majority of the time, it's super easy. It, once we have your resume and we feel that you're qualified for the job, you're going to receive uh, at least an initial interview followed by an assessment. We're going to ask you to complete and pass the assessment. Hopefully you pass. If you pass this, if you pass the assessment, you'll be moving on to a secondary interview. Um, if you pass that secondary interview, you're going to have at least one more client interview. And then obviously that client interview, if the client likes you, job well done, congratulations, we'll be giving you an offer. That's great because like there are a lot of companies also, um, there are a lot of applicants, they are applying for this company and then it took them like a month or like how many weeks waiting. And it's good to know that here, it's just a quick process. So the good thing about us is we always have clients walking through our door or virtual door. Um, so even if let's say, you make it all the way to the client interview. Just so happens you didn't pass this client interview, client made another decision. It happens. But the good thing about us is since we have 
always new clients coming in. Even if you don't pass that client interview, you go back into our talent pool, our directory. And then if we feel that you're gonna be a good fit for another client or a future client, you're gonna receive another call from us. You don't need to do an initial interview anymore because we already know what you're capable of. So if you're still open for a job, we can find another client for you if your profile matches theirs. Oh, wow. So like you, you will also make ways for applicants and clients to really match each other. That, that's what actually sets us apart. What, a lot of companies, a lot of um, agencies who place talent, they typically just like, okay, here's 30 people and they'll give it to the client. The client's going to pick one. What makes us different is we actually try to pair not only skill set, but personalities that match the client. So I think one difference, I'm sure a lot of the viewers, a lot of the people who are watching have taken personality test or a disc assessment by now, right? Probably. So what we do is we actually have our clients do something similar. And we actually, like I said earlier, we have our applicants take an assessment. The disc assessment is one of them as well. So we want to make sure that their personalities match as well, because it's really different working remotely versus working with someone side by side in an office. Someone side by side in an office, you're going to see them every day. You're going to be able to pretty much read their body language, understand their train of thought. It's different when you work remotely. So from day one, we want to make sure that their personalities match. And then that way it makes a very, very healthy work relationship from day one. Yes. Yeah, so like, I think like even me, I'm really looking for a client or a company that also values each other. You need to like work in a great company, like it's not toxic so that you will really motivated to work. So another question, why should they apply to Elevate Outsourcing? So I think what sets us apart, um, I'm going to sound a little biased, um, of course, because I work here. I think all of our clients are truly, truly, truly amazing. A lot of them are startups themselves, um, but we try to find clients who like to work with their talent, who like to encourage development. Uh, and we do th the same as well. Also, the type of talent that we're looking for really drives the culture of our company uh, because uh, we have, and I'm gonna share these with you right now. So we have three core values. Um, the first one is simply earn it. The type of people that we're looking for to join our company not and also work for our clients come to work every day with as much effort, positive effort as they can put. So every day, come to work, earn it. Do the best you can every day, simply put. Number two, own it. Easiest way for me to explain that, accountability. So even though you put 100% effort in your work, there are going to be days where mistakes happen. You might make a little mistake here, might make a little mistake there. But when you own up to it, take accountability for it, it shows so much more of your personality. Learn from it, move forward, own up to it. Don't ever hide away behind a mistake. And worst of all, don't ever throw anyone under the bus or blame someone else for the mistake. Own up to it. Okay. And third, simply be grateful for it. Every day, be grateful that we have a job. I know I am. So we expect that from everyone else and all three relate to one another. So earn it, own it, be grateful for it. That's the culture that we have in our company. That's the culture that we hope everyone in our company follows and tries their best to emulate. Um, so I think that's what sets us apart. Oh, one more good thing is um, salary. Uh, we actually uh, like to think that and hopefully people see this, um, the people and the town that we basically place, um, they make good money. So there you go. Yeah. Speaking of salary, is it like per hour? What's the payment method? Is it monthly or bi weekly? Typically majority of the time we, we pay twice a month. Um, so, and in terms of how much you make salary, it all depends on your skill. So obviously we do have a range for whatever role we're hiring for, but it's also going to be based on experience. So experience and skill set goes a long way in that discussion. So as long as you are capable of doing everything that's necessary for that job, that salary is always open to negotiation. So of course, that means as long as you're qualified, as long as you're able to do the job, that doesn't mean anyone can apply 
even if you're not qualified and you're asking for the moon. So let's hope that's not the case. <laughs> and one last question. Um, what are your tips for aspiring applicants? I have a lot of tips for that. A lot of tips. But I think one that will stand out is whenever you guys are moving or looking to apply into the VA industry or the remote industry, you guys have to be flexible. Always, always, always have that mindset where you're flexible. Don't be afraid to learn new things because you are going to be asked to do things you normally haven't done before. So if you come from a customer service background, be ready, you're, you're, you're going to be doing some sales. If you come from a sales background, be ready, you might be doing some back office paperwork. Always, always add to your resume be flexible the more knowledge you have the further it will take you if you come from a completely different industry like for example if you come from a bpo industry be ready to learn and keep an open mind have that flexibility don't be stuck in that in your mindset where you already have those set of skills be ready to learn more I think that's the first thing I can say for all the aspiring athletes. Yeah, and that is really great because it is also for you because you will also grow not only with the existing skills that you have, but you will also like stretch what what skills you can do. Yeah. All right, there you go. So where are they going to send if they are interested to apply? For all interested applicants, please simply update your CV and send it to HR at elevateoutsourcing.com that simple and then our wonderful recruitment team will go through it see what you're qualified for and if you match any of our open job requisitions we'll be calling you yeah that's awesome and do you have websites or like social media so that they can also follow you we do um so obviously we're on any social media platform that you're using just search elevate outsourcing will pop up right there. We're on LinkedIn, uh, we have a Facebook page. You can follow us, we, we do multiple posts. We're throughout social media um, and our website as well. So elevateoutsourcing.com. All right, so I will just also put the link of those social medias so that they can also follow and like they will really find Elevate Outsourcing. All right, so thank you, sir. And that's really awesome. It's really a great information to all the viewers of there. And I think by going to release this one, this video, expect that there will be a lots of applicants. <laughs> we're hoping, we're hoping, we're hoping. Uh thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your time as well. Thank you and have a nice day, sir. You as well. Take care, stay safe. Okay, Bye. goodbye. Elevate Outsourcing is a great company that offers not only a competitive salary, but great people. For me, working with great people matters a lot. You will enjoy working because everything is around you is positive. At the same time, you will be more motivated to do your best because your colleagues are lifting you up and helping you. So, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell para lagi kayong updated. Thank you for always watching and happy hunting!